Hi there, Jennifer from Scrapping Under the Influence. Today I have a fun little mini album that I made using Doodlebug Designs Booville collection. I actually started this um, right before Thanksgiving. I had gone, had the opportunity to go to an event sponsored by Susie West at Doodlebug's headquarters here in Salt Lake City. It was fabulous. It was so much fun. And I started working on this album there. Um, I haven't done, this is the first album that I've constructed of this kind. Typically I've done them where, you know, I'm doing hole punches and binder rings and ribbon and, and all of that. This is the first time I've done one where you're actually creating the, the whole album from scratch, the hinge, the pages, you know, the covers, the spine, the whole bit from scratch. And it was really, really fun. And I think I will be doing lots more of these because it was not nearly as hard as I thought it was going to be. So that was a pleasant surprise to say the least. <coughs> Excuse me. So let's take a look. On the front here, I have created a little shaker album um, or shaker front, which it's really staticky in here today for some reason and it doesn't want to, to shake for me today. Uh, on the side here, we've got a doodle pop, um, some other fun little elements, the little eyeball stickers that I'm just absolutely in love with. On the back, I've done um, a collage of sorts that was inspired by some that Doodlebug has done. Uh, the local scrapbook store here has some on display, and at the event that I was I was at, there were a lot of ladies that were doing these because they are really really fun. But I had taken you know the the basic idea and layout of that and used the mini icons to do that for the back of my book. Um, we're gonna untie this here. And this is not perfect by any means. I've got a couple things on the spine that I kinda goofed up, but that's okay because this is my first time doing this kind and it was so much fun. Um, little pocket here with a tag with a little journaling spot. On this side, page flips out. Just, you know, space for pictures. Um, put another little journaling spot there if I want to. This Every one of these pages has a photo mat that pulls out from the pocket in between the pages. So that's what all of these ribbons are sticking out on the end here. On the next page, and this is bulky enough, it does not want to lay flat for me. <laughs> Just, you know, some more fun elements. The, the, the design elements within the Booville collection are just absolutely adorable. And I was trying to make really good use of those when I was doing this book. Um, just to um, just kind of highlight those I guess so this actually um, we could slide a photo map behind here or some other little memorabilia from Halloween if you wanted to this is yet another photo map with a journal tag that I've got stuck in this pocket on this side um, every one of these pages has lots of popped up elements you know to, to to just give it some more interest and, and make it a little bit more fun. Uh, I've got another pocket here, uh, a little village scene that I fussy cut out of the six by six Booville um, paper stack. I used the six by six and I also used the 12 by 12 and I used the coordinating doodle bug uh, petite prints, which are probably some of the coolest papers out there because they they just fit with everything, like these little purple dots down here, uh, this gingham pattern on the back of this page. The reverse of this gingham pattern is this really tiny kind of hatched uh, print. So this all folds out. You could put Instax pictures on here. You could add journaling, um, you know, any number of things you wanted to do there. Uh, the next page, we've got another one that flips up. Once again, you could put some pictures, you could do pretty much anything you wanted. I've got another tag there. Uh, tag here, another pocket where you could put, you know, whatever you want. This is one of the little acetate elements that was in the uh, Booville Odds and Ends pack. Um, there were 75 pieces in that. I've used all of them in here except for like five of them. <laughs> so if that tells you anything, uh, this page, we have a trifold that opens up and you can put, you know, pictures and, and journaling and whatever. 
Another little photo mat journaling card, a uh, little horizontal pocket that I did there with one of the cute clips. Uh, the other side of this piece of paper, horizontal diagonal, <laughs> I can't even talk today. I've used the other side of that here on this little pocket. Uh, just some more fun elements here. Um, and then on the back here, I actually did a little waterfall album, which for some reason I, I, I must have been really tired at the point that I moved to this because I had a really hard time engineering this and I don't know why I've done them before. And they're not that difficult, but for some reason I just had a horrible time with it. So this, I've actually left this element not completely attached down so that you could stick something behind there. Um, and then we've got, you know, some more of those little acetate elements on the back. And that's about it. This was such a fun album to make. Such a fun paper collection, and I will be doing a lot more of these in the future. Thanks!